Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to do an updated kind of class setup for the M4A1. I want to show you three different builds of this weapon that work very well for me personally. And of course, if you're looking for a build, you know, to kind of use with the M4A1, this is one of the most popular weapons in the game and is one of the most dominant weapons in the game. I know there's a lot of new people coming, kind of coming to the game now since Black Friday, Christmas is right around the corner. A lot of people will be getting the game, hopping in for the first time and playing. And this is definitely a gun that you want to be using if you want to compete just kind of sweaty game in and game out. So I'm going to show you three different class setups that work very well for this. The first class setup is going to be kind of a silence class. This is going to have the monolithic suppressor, which is sound suppression, damage range. Of course, the cons are aim down, sight speed, aim walking, steadiness. The next thing is going to be the stock M16 Grenadier barrel. This is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Cons are aim down, sight speed, and movement speed. This is one of the best attachments for the gun, but also one of the worst. It makes the gun very uh, versatile at range. It gives it about two to three more meters than the custom Corvus Marksman. So you could run that if you would like. But the really bad thing about the Grenadier Barrel is it's going to knock you down a good bit when you're trying to ADS, if that makes sense. It's going to make you have about a three frames longer kind of time to ADS than any other barrel that you could have put on this weapon from this uh, you know, kind of selection here. So you're going to be about three frames slower running this Grenadier Barrel. So this is a class that you're always going to want to be kind of pre-aimed if you know someone is coming. It's not a barrel that you want to run up on people and try to, you know, hose them down really quick. It's just not that kind of, uh, of kind of build. You know, this is kind of a, a hang back or kind of just hang off to the side, uh, back behind enemy lines, kind of pick people off with the silencer. And of course, with this Grenadier barrel, you're going to have some range as well. The GI Mini Reflex is my optic. You can run whatever optic you prefer. I just prefer the GI Mini Reflex personally. Stippled grip tape, this should help somewhat with that ADS speed being slower. This way, if you have to get into a gunfight that's up close, that way you can ADS a little bit quicker. Uh, if you had something else on here, you would be very, very slow. This is going to give you aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, but of course, aiming stability con. Last but not least, we're going to go with the Merc foregrip to help with some of that recoil, but mainly for that hip fire accuracy. If you're using that big barrel, like I said, and you cannot ADS quickly in close quarter spots, the best thing you can do, the next best thing you can do is hip fire. So this Merc foregrip will help with that. Of course, aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed are the cons. So this stippled grip tape is not a must because we got a lot of things that are hurting our aim down sight speed, but at the same time, it will help a little bit. As you can see, the accuracy is very good. The range is very good. The control is up there as well. The mobility bar is not down that much, but like I said, don't let it fool you. This M, When you put on an M16 Grenadier barrel, you will be able to tell the difference in ADS speed. The next thing we're going to run is going to be kind of the same setup, but this is going to be more of a just straight up turret kind of setup. So we're going to take off three attachments. We're going to go ahead and put on the compensator. We're going to put on the commando foregrip, and we're going to put on the rubberized grip tape. Now you can see the accuracy is way up there. The range is up there. The control is even a little bit better than it was with the past build, but that mobility is still very slow. This compensator is going to give us recoil control, aim down sight speed, and aiming stability cons. The commando foregrip is going to give us recoil stabilization and aiming stability, but a movement speed con. The reason I swapped to this commando foregrip, the commando foregrip and the compensator are two of the best recoil control uh, attachments in the game when paired together. So if you run a commando foregrip, I would highly recommend you run the compensator also because they work very well together. And last but not least, we're going to go with the rubberized grip tape, which is recoil control, but aiming stability con. This class is a straight turret. You can sit back and just kind of guard certain areas, high populated areas, whatever game mode you're playing. If you know where the enemy is, this gun can absolutely mow them down. You just don't want to be running up into gunfights with this. You want to let people come to you if that makes sense. You don't necessarily have to camp. I use this a lot on ground war and just patrol a few flags, you know, and just kind of pick people off at a distance. And that's what this class setup is made for. And last but not least, I'm going to show you my personal favorite class setup. This is the one that I use a lot. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can run this. We're going to go with the stock Grenadier barrel yet again. Of course, with that damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. We've already talked about this in the last two. Then we're going to go with the no stock attachment, which is going to give us movement speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are going to be aiming stability and recoil control. Then we're going to go with sleight of hand. Uh, I'm going to be mobile running around more with this class. So that way you can re reload quickly. You don't have to worry about getting caught while reloading by a bunch of enemies or something like that. We're going to go with stippled grip tape, which is going to give us more aim down sight speed and more sprint to fire speed. Of course, the cons are going to be aiming stability. And last but not least, I'm going with the Merc foregrip again. 
a little bit of recoil control, but mainly for that hip fire accuracy. This is going to give us aim, walking movement speed, and aim down sight speed cons. Some people like to run the Commando foregrip all the time. I'm just not a huge fan of the Commando foregrip on the on the M4A1. I, I don't really think you need recoil stabilization. It's going to depend on what your personal preference is, but I prefer the Merc foregrip. And as you can see, this class still has a kind of green in the accuracy, green in the range, the fire rate, the mobility, and the control, but it's not just way up there like it was with some of the other builds. This is kind of that run and gun style build. I'm not wanting to get into long range gunfights. I'm wanting to keep everything close to medium range, and this gun performs very well with that. Now you can change a few things out. You can drop the slide of hand and go with the 50 round mag. I know 50 round mags has aim down sight speed and movement speed cons. If you put a 50 round mag on, you can hardly tell any difference with it on than not on, if that makes sense. The 60 round mag, you can tell a bit of difference, but not a whole lot either. So if you want to run either one of these magazines, it would not be, you know, it's not going to really hurt you that much. So you could do that instead of sleight of hand, or you also could slap on the monolithic suppressor instead of sleight of hand. Or you could go with the attack laser, which is going to give you even more ADS speed, even more uh, aiming stability, even more aim walking steadiness. Of course, the con is that laser is visible to enemies. Right now, lasers have been bugged. People are able to see you with these lasers when they should not be able to. They can see you through walls and things like that. They can see the laser shining through. There has been a bug with these lasers, so I've kind of slacked off on running the lasers. It was a thing that I was running a lot there for a while. If you would like to try it, you definitely can, but just be aware you can be seen sometimes when you should not be able to be seen. So I would either go with the monolithic suppressor, the extra ammunition, or sleight of hand. I prefer sleight of hand with this class. Like I said, if you're playing ground war, you really don't have to worry about running out of ammo because there's ammo everywhere. If you're playing something like TDM, you may want to slap scavenger on, something like that, so you don't run out of ammo. But this is my personal favorite build right now, but all three of these builds work very well for the M4A1. Anyway, guys, I hope this gave you some ideas to try out for yourself. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Click that bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.